Nick Roldan. Roldan is America's highest ranked professional polo player. He was the youngest player to ever win the U.S. Open Polo Championship. He did that at the age of 15. Well, this weekend he's playing polo on Governor's Island and as captain of Prince Harry's team in this Sunday's Polo Classic. Good morning, Nick. Good morning. How are you? Here. Welcome Thank to you Good Day, New York. Um, you are the captain of the team. Prince Harry is a member of your squad. I'm just curious, before we talk about the event, what's right. that relationship like? Um, I mean, this isn't the first time I played with him before. I've played with him a couple times in England, so um, our relationship is, you know, it's quite close. But he works for you. Well, I mean, it's, it's his charity, it's his foundation. Um, Do you have to let I him just score? happen to be the captain of the team. Do you have to like, I don't know, is it like, hey, you know, Prince Harry? Do you say Your Majesty? Yeah, you know, you got to do what I tell you, sort of. Right. Like, you know, no, no, it's no. not like that. Tell um, us about polo. It looks. Um, it's dangerous. It's, yeah, it looks hard actually. It's it's, it's very dangerous. Um, you know, the horses travel at speeds of up to 35, 40 miles an hour. You're, you know, there's a lot of it's full contact, so you're you're bumping and you're you're crossing in front of you know other players. So it is. It's 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 known as one of the most dangerous sports in the world. And it seems like it's a gaining in popularity. But, you know, I spend some of my free time riding horses, but I see a lot more people t picking up the sport of polo. It, uh, it it it's grown quite a bit, especially in the last year. Um, I think with like events like the Governor's Island and stuff like that it gets it out to the public because you know the fact of the matter is a lot of people don't really know about the sport nor has anybody ever tried to give them a lesson or to teach them what it's all about well is it the so, sport of kings you know what I mean because or it, I think you actually see it becoming perhaps more mainstream you just mentioned as a result of this event and others hey it could be like golf someday where just about anybody can play golf back then or tennis you, you know 50 60 years ago was sort of like you know the sport of kings as well and uh, we know now with Tiger Woods and a lot of other young and up-and-coming players, um, it's gotten more mainstream. And I think, you know, my idea is to try to do the same thing with polo. Now, Nick, is it like a prerequisite that you look like a model or that you are a model to play polo? I mean, the guy on the other team is Nacho. You yeah. remember Nacho? He's yeah. another prominent I model. Know, no, I, I don't know him, actually. I don't know who he is. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> who's, this, who's this obscure who's figure this you're talking about? <laughs> what, is it with, what is it with the polo players and the, uh, you know, I can say and this the is the dude and the, and the looks, right? I don't know. It's uh, I don't know if it's in the blood. Or is I, it a prerequisite? Come on. Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, maybe. if they only had a women's team, <laughs> yes, maybe yes, Greg might women. be a little more interesting. Women do play. Women mm -hmm. do compete. Um, and there's actually there's a women's league as well. Tell us about the game itself. Like uh, how many how many polo players are on a team? Four players on a polo. There's four players on a team. How long does the match last? Uh, two hours, give or take. And is it like soccer? Is it and like hockey? It's like uh, for for me. I mean, I've played hockey before, so I can compare it to ice hockey in a way because you know four players on a team. We don't have a goalie. But it's, you know, it's, like I said, it's very physical, like in hockey, so... Let's argue, I, I know that uh, when I've seen some polo matches, there's some that are near my barn, there are just horses everywhere. I know each polo player has, what, seven to ten horses that are used in a match because they're just going full speed. When you're a top polo player, you're not walking and right. trying to hit the ball. You're going full well, speed. Well, in, it's, you know, ice hockey, there's line changes. In polo, we do changes with the horses because we're running for seven and a half minutes nonstop so the horses, they tend to get tired, some get injured. So, you know, like I said before, we, six periods in a polo match, each chucker you ch or each period you change a horse, plus you have spare horses. So each team takes about 40 horses to a polo field. Uh, how, well, how long does the match last? And which, well, well uh, yeah, how seven long? and a half minutes, seven and six minutes periods, so 42 minutes of playing time. Plus, there's like two, three minutes in between each period, and then a 20-minute halftime. What, what's a typical score? Some of us have been frustrated about the World Cup. You know, one nothing, <laughs> one, one zero, all. zero. What, what, right. what are the scores like? Uh, above 20 or 30 goals. That's it's, it's, cool. It's a lot of scoring. Lots of lots action. of action. Hey, it's a great spectator, it's a spectator sport. Where can someone go? I mean, how did you get involved in the sport, and where could a where could a person go to learn more? Well, I, I learned from my father. My father used to play. His father used to play. But now there's a couple of uh, there's some clubs outside of the city in Old Westbury who have you know teaching facilities where if you wanted to go ride, if you weren't you know affiliated with horses, that you can go and they give you horses and you can play. Well, Nick Rolden, I played polo or like, yeah. on West 66th Street. There you I go. I think we have a picture of uh, oh, of the of the. Don't get too excited. We played on there bikes. We <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a start, though. Yeah, that's, this is a start. That's pretty good. And you can actually kind of get the mechanics down of the sport right. on a bicycle. Exactly. All right. And then, yes, right. Well, good luck on good luck on Sunday. Great. And well, if, thank you very if, much. If anybody wants to go, the general public is it's open. Way. It's open to the public. Uh, so Governor's Island. At Governor's Island, anybody can go. Hosted by Vuv Clico. The champagne, so champagne. champagne people. Um, Piaget is the the, the official timepiece of it. And the winner of each of the of the of the 
game, will they they get the Piaget gives them all a watch. So all right, which is all right. Nick well, Rolden. Thank you very much. Thank you. Play Keep, safely. Thank you. Keep an eye and on Prince we'll Harry. See you. Yes, I know. He, we uh, <laughs> he gets Randy every now and then, so we've yeah. heard. All right, coming up on Good in New York. Good luck. Stay connected with MyFoxNY.com mobile. Download the iPhone app or text Fox 5 to 46988 for other devices. Local news, weather, and traffic on the go with MyFoxNY.com mobile.